Borealis will be an icebreaker research ship and deep sea drilling platform in one. It's designed to take sediment samples from the polar seabed even in thick drift ice. Designing the icebreaker was a challenge for the engineers. It's a new kind of boat, and innovations had to be made from the hull up. A model about seven meters long is being used to see if the design is seaworthy. The first tests show that at slow speed, the boat can plow through ice three meters thick. And the underside remains ice free. The next trial for the model is in ice free waters. This time, it's a simulation of a voyage over the equator, along the African coast. There, the boat would have to surmount waves 10 meters high. Even with the heavy seas that we saw today, we discovered that the deck area for the drilling rig stays nearly 100 percent free of water. That means conditions for the scientists are optimal. The researchers aboard the Aurora Borealis will be cruising mainly through ice-covered waters. To meet this challenge, a system of weights is used to make the model roll and list in a controlled fashion. This ability to sway will enable the icebreaker to overcome the thickest of obstacles. The Aurora Borealis is later expected to master ice ridges up to 15 meters high. But the icebreaker can only drill in the ice if it can maintain its position, meaning it has to break ice when standing still. The model is put through a channel simulating drift ice in the open sea. More than 70 measurements are taken as the model goes through. Maintaining a position in drifting ice is the most difficult of all nautical maneuvers. To help those on the bridge, researchers have developed a sophisticated propulsion system. Six transverse propellers are installed beneath the icebreaker. Three are at the bow and three at the stern. Together with the main propellers, they can move the Aurora in any direction, allowing it to be steered against the drifting ice. Up to now, everyone is satisfied with the results. The Aurora Borealis has stood the course in all conditions, even when the enormous icebergs press against the side of the vessel. The ice fragments in the canal may just measure centimeters, but they correspond to tons of ice drifting against the ship under actual conditions. We're satisfied and we're convinced we can achieve the desired level of performance with the ship. The model has passed the tests and it's time to celebrate. In 2012, building is due to begin on the real Aurora Borealis.